United Vein, we turn to the National Drug Authority spokesperson, Abiyaz Ramwiri, for a clarification on what really happened in this operation. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to NTV at One. Uh, thank you for having me. Good afternoon, the viewers of NTV. We understand that this highlight of uh, this particular operation was a discovery of uh, a patient undertaking a drip using a soda bottle in Namtumba district. Would like you to tell us what exactly happened. Uh, thank you. When we are carrying out uh, these enforcement activities, um, we have targets. And in Namutumba specifically, uh, we had uh, three uh, targets where we needed to... Uh, those centers were illegal. They did not have uh, uh, a license. Uh, but also we knew that there was one that was being uh, operated by an qualified person. So when our teams hit the first uh, target and opened it, uh, as the other team was moving across the road to, uh, to this particular uh, uh, facility that has attracted attention, public attention, we found a running uh, drip. Uh, that was coming through uh, a soft drink bottle um, with uh, something that looks like water. Because that's going to uh, um, the content of this. We have it. We are testing it. Uh, this this matter has been taken on. Uh, has taken the interest of the Minister of Health. Uh, we uh, we brought uh, that bottle, and we are going to run it in our in our laboratory to test uh, the sterility and, and, wha and what was going on. But what was very clear, uh, what we found is when these guys, when the operator heard that we are coming, they went through the behind door. You know how these, uh, make sh uh, these structures are made? They have the front, which is usually a shop, but this is where they had a small clinic of so then behind uh, where they would ideally stay is they use that exit door to escape with the patient. Now, uh, the, what people have been asking, well, of course, when we shared it uh, on social media, uh, some people uh, took it a joke and others uh, raised very serious concerns of maybe there are, uh, there are no other alternatives. And uh, I, I went to Namutumba myself. At the point where uh, this was found, it is under 600 uh, meters away from Health Center 3, but also there are other four alternative uh, legitimate centers, both private, uh, all, all of them private, which, where they, this person could have uh, thought a medical attention. Now, to risk yourself, well, even if you look at the cost, uh, the price you're going to pay after because it's is usually, definitely higher. It is usually the affordability and maybe the timing and the easy access of some of these health centers, <coughs> some of these uh, quack health centers. Uh, it, 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 it can only be if you want to discuss the issue of price, uh, but I've told you there is accessibility. We have three uh, re re uh, uh, re regulated uh, drug shops mm. in that small town. There is a health center three. There is also a private clinic. Um, if you look at the cost, mm. you risk your life for a difference of 5000 you will pay much more when something goes wrong. No. The other suspicion we have, uh, why would the patient run? And from what we had, it was a, a young girl. Chances out could have been abortion. And uh, that's, you know, that's the advantage they take. When there is an, uh, an illegality and criminality around, uh, you don't want to go to a proper place where you're going to be asked questions. So there could be issues of abortion, which would be very unfortunate. We are, we are following it up because uh, the person who is, we have gone, police has taken it over, our regional team is taking it over, the ministry is taking it over up to the Director General of Health Service. We want to find out what was actually happening. Well, the National Drug Authority has been carrying out uh, operations previously across, you know, the country. I would like to understand how different this particular operation is from the previous ones that you've actually been carrying out. Um, this, this is more targeted. We have regional offices. Uh, there are uh, nine uh, in total. Uh, and when we send the teams from uh, the head office that 
uh, deals with enforcement. They are going to targets that have uh, been uh, failing our regional teams. And we, what we've done, we've worked out with police. We map, we map out these places. Um, and it's not just the licenses. I've shared because people uh, think that the NDA wants you to license so that we can pay, we can get money. We are not mm. revenue collectors. Mm -hmm. I can give you the statistics. A drug shop outside the city pays around ninety thousand. Now, for us to send our team to enforce uh, that licensing, uh, we spend a minimum. Our enforcement, a weekly enforcement costs us close to 30 millions. Mm. That doesn't include the wear and tear of our vehicles, but the security, uh, the, the fuel, our, the podiums, our, our intelligence and all that. So for us, it is more costly to, enfo to enforce. But we do this to protect the public because most of those people who don't want to run sense, mm. there's something they're hiding. They either they are not qualified, their premises are not suitable to, to handle medicine, uh, they are selling expired drugs, uh, so they are trying to cut corners and as an, our mandate requires us we must protect the public mm -hmm. and that's why we go over and above to ensure that we take this now the difference is that we have we have what we're doing now is to map out places and of course people usually uh, know that we are going to be in this region especially after two days mm -hmm. and what we are doing now we 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 trigger uh, the provisions within our act to use force prop, uh, forceful means to access these premises. Thank you. Now, as we wind this up, just in a nutshell, uh, just talk to us about uh, the impounded medicine. What are you going to do with it and how much was it worth? And then also, as you conclude, what do you think, in your view, what do you think can be done to end drug abuse in the country, both by health workers and patients? In a nutshell. Uh, the key one, the, we impounded drugs worth over 100 million. Um, these are stored at our regional offices in Ginger. Those who comply, their medicines will be returned to them before they expire. Those that expire, we will have to destroy them. Uh, I have shared the, what needs to be done to stop uh, issues of self-medication, drug abuse and all that. We must demand for a public health insurance. I wrote an article recently, uh, last week, on um, issues of uh, accessibility. Mm. We must stop paying for what we can afford, but what we need, and that is, has, can only be true when we have a public health insurance. Thank you, Abiyaz Ramiri, the spokesperson of the National Drug Authority.